Hey, you wanna see what's inside of a metal fabrication shop? Follow me inside. Jim Averill here with Gunnison Sheet Metal and Roll Forming and Axtell Mountain Construction here in Gunnison, Colorado with New Tech Machinery. Let's take a look around my shop. So here we have a 14 gauge Urbend shear. This shear is accurate to thousandths of an inch, guaranteed every time to maintain proper shears in order to take it over to this way where we have our Urbend folder. This is a CNC folder with Omega geometry Notice the bottom part of my leaf recesses in. This makes making plum style D drip edge a breeze. Notice the layout here. I run my shear perpendicular to my folder. This is for efficiency in transporting my drop sheets with my roller cart, just like this. And then I can grab my sheets. I can drag them up onto my table and then it's an easy transition into the folder, make my part, put it back on my table, ready to go. Here is my SSR NewTek portable roll former. I always keep it indoors. I keep it in the shop because with some, some panels, like just yesterday, I had to produce 150 feet. All the panels were under 15 feet. I might as well just roll them out in the shop, put them on a pallet, ship them out the door. Every shop should be Utilize with pallet racking for your flat sheets. You can also store coils underneath. You never want to store coils or sheet metal outside in the elements. So here in my shop, all of my dies for the new tech machinery, I keep in their same crate that they come with. They're fine, no need to change up the system. I also take old couch cushions and I lay them in the crate. That way, when I'm putting my individual dies back in, I ha they have some cushion. Then I store those on my pallet racking up top in the open middle space. I keep my pallet racking here just big enough for one sheet each. I keep my bottom row pretty open. At this height here, about four and a half feet high, I can stack two coils high, 20 inch coils. I can also stack a lot of pallets of flat sheets underneath if I need to. I also have heat tape by the spool on a retractable reel here. This is quick and easy. We get a lot of homeowners, DIYers, asking for self-regulating heat tape. I have both flavors here, 120 volt and 240 volt, ready on hand. Every sheet metal shop needs to have a box pan brake. This is a little bit more of a fancy box pan brake. You'll notice you have a lot larger throat here. These are quickly adjustable side to side, or you can completely take these goat's feet off Place them underneath. Even these bottom pieces are removable for creating any kind of custom trim, scuppers, uh, anything that you can imagine, these box pan brakes can do. Over here, this is our chimney cap and more custom side of our sheet metal shop. We have our old trusty Schechtel shear right here, never fails. Then over here, we got our old school RAS. This is a 12 gauge brake. So when we're making a lot of chimney caps, or uh, custom crickets, this is the side of the shop that they're being made on. We can bend 12 gauge sheet metal with this brake. Here's a forklift. Like I said earlier in one of my videos, I never imagined how helpful a forklift would be. That's one of the first things that you need to buy. So what happens when the electricity goes out and you still need to get that roof on? You gotta go come back to your old trusty hand brake, okay? These old leaf brakes, they work just great. They never fail unless your arms fail. Now you may be asking what this big coil here is. We run 40 inch coils. We produce pro panel and seven eighths corrugated right out of this, these same doors. Here we have our seven eighths corrugated line. This machine is 32 feet long. It takes all of that to actually form a proper seven eighths corrugated panel. This machine weighs about 15,000 pounds. It's not easy getting into place. Our upper layer here is pro panel. It enters here. This takes about 15 feet of dis roll forming distance to produce the end product. This machine does great with 24 gauge and 26 gauge steel. The last thing I have in my shop that everybody needs is a handy dandy welder. 
This is a traditional 120 MIG welder with CO2 gas because you never know when you're going to need to really customize some part of your machinery to keep you rolling. Thanks for checking out my shop. Be sure to check out axtelmountainconstruction.com, gunsandsheetmetal.com, and newtechmachinery.com. We'll see you in the next video.